Hello everyone, Crocheter here, ready to teach you the basics of crochet. So get out your hooks. Let's ignore that. And let's get started. To make a slip knot, what you're going to do is you're going to make a loop in your yarn. Going to insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through that loop you made. You now have a slip knot. To chain, you are going to do the same thing. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Remember, the loop on your hook does not count as part of your chain. The slip knot itself also does not count as part of your chain. So that was a chain one. We're going to chain 12 to get the width of what we want to make, which is a scarf in this instance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We now have our chain of twelve. To make a single crochet, we start by chaining one to give us some height. We are then going to insert our hook into the second chain from the hook, which is one, two, this one. So we insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through. We now have two loops on our hook. We are now going to yarn over and pull through both of them. That is a single crochet, and we're going to repeat that across this row. So that's one. Three. Let me pull some more out of the skein. I'll deal with that knot later. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. We now have 12 single crochets. Next, we'll be learning the half double crochet. For a half double crochet, we are going to chain two for height. And since we are starting a new row, we are going to turn our work, so we are still working from right to left. We are going to yarn over our hook, go into the last stitch of the last row, yarn over, pull through. We now have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through all three. Just like we did with a single crochet, except there's a third loop. So there's one. Remember, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull through three. And we're going to repeat that all the way across the row. Three, Four, 
five. Six. Seven. And there you go, we now have 12 half double crochets on top of a row of single crochets. We will now go over double crochet. Just like the half double crochet, we are going to chain two for height. Since this is the start of a new row, we are going to turn our work, so we are going to the left, we're going to yarn over, insert just like the half double, yarn over, pull through, only this time we're only going to pull through the first two loops, so yarn over, pull through two, we now only have two loops, we're going to once again yarn over, pull through two, there you go, you have made a double crochet, and we're going to repeat that all the way across the row. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And the yeah, we'll clock, right? Twelve. We now have twelve double crochets on top of a row of twelve half double crochets on top of a round of twelve single crochets. We will now learn the treble crochet. For this, we are going to chain three for height. One, two, and three. Turn our work to start a new row, and we are going to yarn over our hook twice. One, two. We are then going to insert our hook into the last stitch of the last row as usual. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, 
pull through two loops. You now have a triple crochet. Let's do that again. Yarn over twice, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And let's do that ten more times to finish the row. That's three, Seven. Pull out more yarn from the skein. Eight. And eleven. And there you go, 12 treble crochets. As you can see, as we go up in crochet, the size of the crochet gets bigger, they get taller. That's kind of the point. However, you may notice that this also means there's bigger gaps in between the crochets, hence why I generally don't use treble crochet for a plushie, but that's beside the point. To change color in the middle of your project, here's what you're going to want to do. Take the last stitch you make of your current color and kind of undo it. Now you may notice that whether it's single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, or treble crochet, there's always pulling through two loops at the end of it. The way to, do, the way to change color is recreate that treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert, pull through, yarn over two loops, pull through two loops. The way to change color is don't pull through those two loops just yet with your current color. What you're instead going to do is you're going to put your new color over your hook and pull through with the new color. You now have your new color on the hook and you can simply continue as normal with your new color. Doesn't matter if this is the end of a row or in the middle of a row or even in the middle of a round. You just take that, do what you will with it. Now the best way to cover up these tails, well first of all we're going to have to cut the tail of the old color. So let's just kind of snip it. 
A way I like to, to hide these tails in a project is to actually crochet over them. So we're going to hold these right next to the loop that we're about to go into. And we're going to go right into it. So they get inside the new stitch. Those tails are now anchored in place, and we can just keep crocheting over them. Oh, wait, no, that's a double. I'm supposed to be doing triple on this round. A row, I mean. I cannot get my terms right today. Whatever. You, you get the idea. You crochet over the tails, pinning them in place, and there you go. They're hidden. Congratulations. Now we're going to learn how to make a magic circle. There are quite a few ways to make one, but I'm going to teach you probably the easier one. We're going to take our yarn. We're going to make a slip knot, as we usually do. Insert our hook. Now I'm going to do this in double crochets. Just keep that in mind. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we are going to make double crochets into that third chain from the hook. So for this, we're going to say eight. So. One, come on. Two, three. Seven. And eight. And then we are going to join back into the first stitch using a slip stitch, which is where we insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through all the loops. Think of it like a half single crochet. And there you go, you have a circle. Now you may notice there's kind of a hole in the center of your circle. That's fine, that's just kind of a result of this method. Uh, if you have a long enough tail, which I did not leave, then you can actually use that to sew that gap shut and it won't really be a problem. Uh, otherwise, this could be a problem if you're using this for, say, a plushie, but if you're just making a hat, then this won't really be an issue. Side note on the magic circle. If you are using single crochet, then it's essentially the same procedure, but you chain two instead of three. Now let's go over increase and decrease. Now an increase is basically what it sounds like. You increase your number of stitches. How do you do that? Well, let's chain two to start our new round. 
and we are going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one, and there's two. We now have two double crochets in the same stitch. That is how you increase your number of stitches. Now a decrease is a little more complicated. There are a couple of ways. One way is to just skip a stitch and that can work if you're using single crochet. When using double crochet, not so much if you're, using a, if you're making a plushie. So here's what you would do in case of a double crochet decrease. We yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, insert a hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, now we have five loops on our hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first three. Now we have three more loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through those three. And there you go. That's a double crochet decrease. For a single crochet decrease, you insert, yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through, and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three. That's how you do it with a single crochet. And congratulations, you now know the basics of crochet. Now get out there, get those hooks, keep those hooks active, and I'll see you later.